So hello everybody, it is Friday, no it's not Friday, it's actually Thursday, but it's time for a Tax Fridays video. So I'm going to show you into this video how to do previous row in DAX when your values are not accumulated. I've shown you before how it was accumulated, if you try that in non-accumulated values, will not work. So let's figure this thing out, shall we? So I've been looking into the Freedom Score data set. It's basically a data set that for each country and year from 2013 up to today's date, or this year, current year, it goes and looks at the freedom of the people in each country and it gives it a score, right? So you have a lot of score. The people living in the country probably do not have a lot of freedoms and if you have a high score, they are more free, okay? And it's not looking good, I can tell you that, oh my God. Across the board, like, we're losing liberties all the time, what's going on? But anyway, we're not talking about that here. We're going to talk about DAX. Let me show you what I tried to do. So I have the data set contains a list of countries, and then you have dates for each year. So for each country and each year, you have a score. So uh, here for Afghanistan, you have starting 27 points in 2013, and now they're down to 10 points. We all know what's happening in Afghanistan, so let's not talk about it. It's not about this. So what I want to know is, I want to have a column, two columns actually. I want to have one column that would tell me how many points each country is losing or gaining each year, and I want to have a column that would tell me if it is increasing or decreasing, because I'm going to use the, that for visualization. That's the thing. So in order to know how many points a country is gaining or losing, what I need to do is to get the value of 2013 in the 2014 line. So I can do 2013 minus 2014. So I actually need to get the value of the previous row down to be able to do the calculation. So I've shown you how to do this for accumulated values with the COVID data and I'm going to show you how that won't work if you try to do it with non-accumulated. This will though work for everything, okay? So let me show you. It's actually very simple because we have a date column. So if we didn't have a date column, you wouldn't do it like this, but with the date column, it works beautifully. Make sure you have a calendar because the date add that we're going to use here needs to have continuous dates, otherwise you're going to get all kinds of weird errors. So we're going to do previous row. And what we will do is calculate, what we want to calculate is the sum of the freedom score total. That's our freedom score. And then I'm going to do date like really shift enter and now we're going to use date add so date add is a function that allows you to go back and forth in time and it's in years in months in days really really neat so we're going to first feed it the date again this column needs to have continuous dates you cannot skip a date so make sure you have a calendar in case your date does skip dates so cal minus one year so we're asking is to, let me show you. I put it in here, so it goes, and for each year, the, okay, let's do one by one. So it goes and it goes to the previous year, gives me the value and puts it there. So you see 40, 40, 40, 40, 41, 42, it's still doing it beautifully. Something that left me a little bit perplexed is it was doing it even by country. So you can see that it starts with Abakhtia, sorry, and then it continued with Af Afghanistan, and then it continued to Angola. You can see here that Afghanistan, I don't have values for 2019 and 20 and 21, which means that it's leaving it blank, which is exactly what we want, and Angola, like that, right? So I was actually surprised that why is it taking into account country territory? Well, the thing is that if you get rid of that, it's just that, you know, it's acting as a filter and it's sortering. So it's actually getting the things right, even if we haven't explicitly tell it. But if I get rid of country from the table, you'll see that suddenly, you know, it's aggregating the values, which is not really what I want because this score, this previous row change, I wanted to have it just by country. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force DAX to do this by country only. So I'm going to create a variable that is going to, let's call it country, selected value. It's going to pick the current value on the current row, selected value for country, country. There you go. And then I'm going to return. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line to our calculate. I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to filter, remove all the filters from our freedom table. And then for country, I wanted to get the entire table, get rid of all the filters, and then when freedom country is equal to whatever it was stored on the variable, and that will change as it iterates through the table, that's how I want you to do the calculation. And you'll see what happens in just a second. Let me make this a little bit smaller. So now that I don't have country, you see that it's giving it blank, and that's exactly what I actually want. Because I want to have this previous row count only when there's country. So now that I have, um, let me put it up there, we can do it like that. And then you see that it's doing exactly the same thing as before. Okay. So now to do the change, you will actually copy these previous row, which is going to be that one. And then for the return, you're going to have uh, I always forget, let's, let's try it, some total, total minus previous row, or the other way around, I'm not, not sure, let's see. So we start with 40 points, yeah, so the first if is a blank previous row. I want to keep it blank, don't give me any value, otherwise it will be wrong. So now it's blank, so 40 minus 40 is 0, 40 minus 41, 1, so it went one, 1 score, 1 score, lost 1, so you can see that it's working beautifully, okay? So this will work when you want to get a previous row from a date and then it will work either it's accumulated or not accumulated so the technique that I use on my COVID video you can use this instead if you want to so have one to remember. Okay so this is all for today. It was fun to do a tax video actually. I will see you again next week as always. Take care.